dear students today we are going to discuss about the next topology type its mesh topology already we completed bus topology ring topology star topology and tree topology in this video we are going to discuss about so how the mesh topology is working so what are the things we have to consider in that mesh topology here coming to this the technical aspect of mesh topology totally i used six pc and six switches to connect each pc it's a start from it's a 192.168.1.1 is the ip address of the first pc and 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 and 1.6 so in the previous video itself we used the same ip address for to understand the concept easily no need to spend too much time so how can we set that ip address so for that reason just i use the same ip address for all the different types of topologies the next one so what's the main thing which we have to consider in that mesh topology already that four topologies what you are creating just the pc is connected with the switch and the switch is connected with other switches or pcs now here in that mesh topology just place here pc and the number of pc which is equal to number of switches and in what way we have to create that labels sorry what we we have to create the cables how many number of cables we have to connect in the mesh topology so that's the important part here what it mean here every computer is connected with switch and each switch is connected with all other switches that's, that's the important, important part. part for, for example, example just, just to take, take switch, switch number 29, 29 switch number 29 which is connected with remaining all five switches switch, switch number 33 is connected with remaining all five switches, switches. it means mean that every pc is connected with all other pc it's a interconnection it's a interconnected with each other that's an important point we have to understand in mesh topology so for example so this is a simple diagram just we can understand uh, how many number of pcs we used how many number of switches and the number of cables we can observe it easily but in case if you are increasing the number of pcs so in this diagram we used six pc in case if you are expanding the the pc as 20 30 40 50 how can we count the the number of cables which is required for mesh topology so definitely we have a formula just based on the formula that's a simple formula based on the formula we can easily calculate the number of cables it's required for mesh topology so in case the total number of computer which is considered as n n number of pcs we are going to connect but we are not sure about that what's the total number of pcs maybe it will be considered as n n number, number of pcs, PCs. Now, now how many number of cables to connect in mesh topology the, the formula, formula is n, n into 
एल माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टू जस्ट आई एम प्लेस इन यू नोट हियर एन इंटर एन माइनस वन डिवाइड बाई टू सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला टू काउंट द केबल्स इन मेस्टोपोलॉजी so just, just here, here in this, this diagram, diagram we used 6 uh, that is pc so, so simply we can calculate the number of cables that n is equal to 6 so 6 into 6 minus 1 it's a 5 so 6 into 5 divide by 2 30 divide by 2 it's a total number of cable is 15 In, in case, case if you are taking, taking that, that the, the n value, value as 10 my total, my total number of pc is 10 10 into 10, 10 into 10 minus 1, 1 divided by 2, by 2. so, so this, this is the common, common for n number, number of pc if, if you are taking, taking that, that n value as 100, 100 the, the same, same thing we can calculate the number of cables now the next question If, if you are not, not sure about that sure about the number of cables definitely that the, the network, network structure may not be considered as mesh topology so, so the mesh topology, topology logic is each pc is connected with all other pc means definitely we must understand that the number of cables to connect each pc right next it's coming to the advantages of mesh topology the data transfer is very high in that mesh topology how can we say that it's a data transfer is high so simple logic now i am going to place a message from for example pc 6 to for example pc 4 So, so the, the PC, PC number, number is 31, 31 and 26. 26. So, so just, just it's uh, take it as the clockwise. It's uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. So it will be the PC 26 is sales, and here it is 4. So immediately we got the message is successful. How? So here that PC 6 have five different path to reach the the destination port so for example still in this diagram it shows that orange color mark so it means that in the background process still the connection is not yet configured fully what will happen if pc 6 is try to message send the message to pc 4 So, so which path is already configured which path is we can reach the data easily that path is decided by the pc that is client pc and immediately it transfer the message to the the destination port so now i will show you in which path is chosen by the pc 4 just i click the play button And, and here, here that simple way pc6 is transfer, transfer the message to switch, switch then it comes to switch 11 and, and comes to switch 16 and it come to 31 the, the same way we can transfer, transfer the acknowledgement now i am going to place one more message So I start send the message from PC one to PC four. Now, so still it shows that in progress. Just I click a play button. Now, 
yes already that, that the switch, the switch it has, has four different, different uh, that, uh, that is connections, connections. But, but which, which one, one is easy to transfer or, or which, which one, one is the shortest path, path which one is the configured properly, properly. That, that path is chosen, chosen by the client machine, machine and, and it's it sent the message to the respective PC, PC. right, right. So, so here, here what, what I, I mentioned, mentioned that, that the data, data transfer, transfer rate is high, high right? right? So, so the, the reason, reason is if any one of the path is not working, working of any one of the path is busy to transmit the data, data. Due, due to any reason, reason maybe as network traffic, maybe as some heavy load or any reason. That, that the, the machine, machine it's trying, trying to, to get the alternative path to, to reach the, the message to the respective port immediately. immediately. So, so that's, that's why, why here, here each, each PC, PC have multiple, multiple number of path to transmit the message. message. That's so a simple, simple logic. logic. We can, can call it as it's one of the advantage in MIS topology. Now. Coming, Coming to the, the next, next one, one, here, here that, that data, data is more secure. secure. How, How can, can we say, say that, that it's a data is more secure, secure or it may be as reliable? reliable. Here, here, so, so whatever, whatever data, data we are trying, trying to send from, from source to destination, destination the, the device, device it's try to choose, choose the dedicated link or dedicated path. path. So for, for example, if, if I am, I am trying, trying to send, to send a, message a message from PC 25 to, for example, PC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if the PC 1 try to send the message to remaining all other PC. Now, now what, what will happen? happen? In, In case, case if PC 1 try to send the message to PC 2, it choose one path. And for 3, it choose another path. 4, 5, 6. So, so each, each message, message it chosen the dedicated, dedicated path to transmit the data. data. So, so that's, that's the thing which is called it as the data, data is more secure and it reliable in the MES topology. Now coming to the, the, the problem or disadvantages in the MES topology. Here, here it's compared, it's compared to this other diagram. diagram. So, so mesh topology, it's look like, like the, the design, design is more complex, complex without knowing the, the, the technical understanding, understanding about the topology, topology te te technical, technical um, structure of the topology. topology. It's, it's really confused, confused uh, the that structures when we are we looking at the mesh topology. topology. We cannot, we cannot easily, easily understand, understand that, that in what way we have to create that MIS topology. So that's, so that's the reason the installation and, and to configure that the MIS topology is really difficult, difficult it's compared, compared to the other topologies. topologies. And, and coming, coming to the next, to the next one, one, so, so whatever, whatever we are taking as the advantage, it's a dedicated path, it's secure, it's a easy or fast data transfer. The same thing that other side we are using more number of cables. So we have to spend more or the cost of the cable is very high, it's compared to the other topologies. The next, the next we may get, get your question. question. If, if the structure, structure is very complex, complex and we have to spend more for the cabling, more amount for the cabling, then why we have to choose the MES topology? So definitely, in case if you are creating the, that is, less number of devices, it's not too complex. If our network, network structure is small, definitely, definitely we can, can go with that MES topology. topology. 
and coming to the the next most important thing we have to spend more amount for the maintenance that's the next disadvantages in mesotopology to install and configuration of the the devices is very difficult and we need more cables to create that mesotopology and the cost of the the maintenance it's really high it's compared to the other topologies right i hope this the statement what we are discussed it's useful to you all if you have any queries post it in the chat window thanks for watching